Uh, well, on tonight's Backstage on Broadway, in partnership with the Broadway Channel, we pay tribute to a performer who personified the Broadway stage for more than six decades. And tonight, Elaine Stritch belongs to the ages. Sometimes just pretzels and beer. I'm here. And you can bet Elaine Stritch will always be here as long as there's a stage and a spotlight. She was a quintessential star of Broadway, cabaret, movies, and until recently, a fixture on 30 Rock. Alec oh. Joan Crawford Bolton. <laughs> Stritch made up her mind at an early age to become a Broadway star and made her New York debut in 1946 in a short lived comedy, Loco. She spent a number of seasons literally waiting in the wings, notably as a standby for. Broadway legend Ethel Merman in Call Me Madam. With the most Her breakthrough on the Great White Way came in 1958 when she took the musical lead in Goldilocks. I found my way to the promised land. But even brighter stardom awaited her three seasons later when she triumphed in Noel Coward's hit musical Sail Away with a song that became one of her signature numbers. Why do the wrong thing? Travel, travel, travel. Meanwhile, Stritch had branched out into film and television during the 50s and 60s. She was the original Trixie Norton on The Honeymooners and appeared with Rock Hudson in A Farewell to Arms. Now turn away. I'm over 21. A series of events in the 1970s proved fateful for Stritch. Her return to Broadway in Stephen Sondheim's company in 1970 won her a Tony nomination for the number that all but became her trademark. Here's to the ladies who lunch. And it was in London the following year when she met actor John Bay in the long running TV comedy series Two's Company. Messages from all your relations all over America. I didn't think I had that many. Their marriage lasted 10 years until he succumbed to cancer in 1982. She says her marriage was the happiest time of her life. In her later years, Stritch's phenomenal career entered a new phase as a sought after cabaret artist. And. Too late, Jackie. As Alec Baldwin's mother on 30 Rock. Despite continuing issues with alcohol and declining health, Stritch continued performing, notably at Manhattan's Carlisle Hotel, where she also lived for many years. In a documentary surveying her life, she offered her secret to life and longevity. I feel better when I work. Because it's such an escape. Elaine Stritch has not escaped from the stage of life, especially for those who have ever thrilled to her work. I'm still Well, in 2013, Stritch left New York to return to her family in Michigan, where she died earlier today. What a loss, but what an incredible, incredible talent. I saw one of the plays she was in. Mm -hmm. She's a real character. Oh, yes, she is.